scintillating encounter here at Stonebridge Road tonight. <laughs> For a scintillating encounter here at Stonebridge Road tonight. Well, after a creditable. A creditable lovely turn by Maggio I actually missed training yesterday hopping out losing out to Maggio important block as Stacey Long will be able to get the ball clear well Guy Maggio's had a wonderful start to the season joint top scorer in the division with James Constable of Kidderminster at start of play tonight and he had a remarkable base Maggio, good play by Maggio, and nobody... Hawkins is there with him, thinks he's got him tight, allows him to go down the hat side, beats him quite easily, pulls the ball back to a great area, but no midfield player had actually made the effort to join him. Okay, Maggio. What a good try that was. Well, he's in so much confidence, and so... Such a purple patch of form. Look at him, there goes Maggio, it's not just all about pace, there's strength and desire there and he's, he is so unlucky with that one and sooner or later... Here's Maggio, Pittman ahead of him, and he's got Danny Ball in his face to his right hand side, good awareness to find the former Wicker man, as the ball came across it didn't quite find Pittman and Cook... Yeah, Maggio not only looking to score goals, looking to set him up as well, goes wide to Ballman, good ball across there and Pitt. Maggio's done brilliantly there. We've already seen there's much more to his game than merely scoring goals. His work rate, very impressive. That's why there's a lot of clubs looking at him because he, he is more about scoring goals. He's got great pen, great strength, strong on the ball. He's got a desire to chase things, make good into, make bad. Hawkins, brought down by Thompson. This is Maggio. Lovely turn by Guy Maggio. The shot deflects, but we picked up by Pittman. I'm trying to work it onto his left foot now. Maggio takes over. Uh, That's his bearings perhaps in his desperation to get an effort towards goal. He's full of confidence obviously at the moment and uh, 
you know, with his goals and goals give confidence to players. And uh, he's obviously very much a handful. And uh, but he's got a very experienced lad, Paul McCarthy. He's the only player actually left at the club that was here when I was here, and I actually signed Paul. So um, there's a good tussle going on there. They're both very strong physically, and uh, there's a good contest going on there. I mean, we were talking just during the break, weren't we, about... I mean, I made the comparison to Leo Fortune West at Cambridge, who's a very big, strong guy. Leo Fortune West, at the end of his career, Guy Maggio, still relatively young, only 23. Is he the kind of player you think that is playing uh, below his level? Is he a football league player, really, in waiting? I don't think there's a great deal of difference sometimes between the, the top of the conference, the top goal scorers. Charlie Madonna was here last year, went on to South End, then, uh, you know, if he continues on that vein, then uh, I can see a league career for him. But obviously, early days, and and, uh, you know, he's got to keep it up. I mean, he shows some great strength on the ball and, and sometimes manages for league players to shoot and take responsibility around the edge of the penalty area. Here comes the counter attack with Pittman. Maggio survives the stumble. Guy Maggio trying to open it up. He's done brilliantly here. Maggio, that would have been a sensational goal. And what a it was that was good play there. Maggio's there. He's actually suckered Hawkins in there. And Oppenell's taken a great position there. He didn't just stand there and just watch it. He knew exactly where. And uh, he's obviously very much a handful. And uh, but he's got a very experienced lad, Paul McCarthy. Different things with him. What he could do with him without the ball. His energy, his desire, and his strength and pace was second to none I've seen so far. And these little tricks he's got, and he just you could just see little things happening. And he's always looking to shoot as well. And you can see that bit of skill he's just done there. I mean. In the Premier League, that would be seen as top class and we'd be talking about him going on to bigger things. At the moment in time, he's going on to bigger things from, from Crawley Town. Got to give the defender a name check there, Sa Sasha Openall, a great clearance off the line. <laughs> it was as well. I mean, it was a great position to take up. You, you can talk about defending, but sometimes you just got to sense danger and he sensed danger. He knew where he should go and be and it should have been a great finish, but in the end, it was a great defensive clearance. In terms of the influence he seems to have on the team and the strength he shows, he reminds me a bit, as I said to Andy Ford at half-time of Leo Fortune West at Cambridge, but... Not got the...
on two here. Look at the man wide. Knew he had done well. He's going to go for distance, is he? No, here we go. Oh, look at him. Well, he lost his feet. The man got the head on it, and the next thing it's in the back of the net. Bar the man on the line. Good break. Look at the real turn of pace. Good distance on it. And good. Oh, look at the man there. This is a. This is. Oh, careful, careful. Don't. Oh, all right. Flash up. No, no, no. Don't stand there and look at it. Oh no no no! What was Bottle? Oh. What an absolute mess! Bottle in the first place. Bam! Spells it. Shrewsbury go one 0 in front. You can almost see it coming. Twenty nine minutes. dealt with. Too powerful for us this fella, it's like no, swatting, it's it's like swatting flies, here he goes again. Good. We stepped up, we didn't play it right. Look at the square. Ah.这次他的特点当然矢量的这个球啊包括之前在右边路的进攻的发展确实打得非常的流畅一比零主场作战的广东支持全队领先了这是盖伊来到球队之后的首个进球前面的两场比赛他获得了不少机会可惜都没有把握